Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm with Firehouse Technology. And the purpose of this video, uh, quick video, is just to go over the installation of our new DJI Avada 2 Tactical Light Kit. Um, we have made a lot of improvements to this kit from um, our first edition of it that we came out with based upon all really everybody's feedback, our SWAT teams, other teams that are using it, um, things that we found that just weren't exactly um, the way we wanted them. And like we always do, uh, we listen, we switch, we change, and we modify. So this latest version, I believe we have this pretty dialed in. Um, you'll note here that, as always, we have two front spacing um, spotlights, 800 lumens apiece. These are Samsung spotlights, long run time. All of our lights now are USB-C chargeable, so you have one cord. You don't have to flip flop around. We still use the four light system. Um, we do that because looking at going to maybe less lights, um, we felt that losing the redundancy. Uh, many times when we fly in there, um, pilots will have an accident. They'll have an issue. Um, or somebody didn't charge the lights up enough. We like the redundancy of the four light system. It doesn't really impact the flight time, so we stuck with that. Um, so this is essentially what it looks like. Uh, first and foremost, um, the mounts in and of themselves. Um, when you receive them, you're going to receive two um, top style mounts, and there is a left and right, and two of these bottom style mounts. Um, first thing with the top mounts is you'll note that with this design, they are designed to pair together um, as such. Um, so they lock in together and then your set screw is gonna set those in. You'll get a screw pack here um, with two screws and two nuts and a tool to um, put these together. This will snap into the top part as you saw in the aircraft a moment ago. This will receive it in the bottom and you'll note that there's a hole here. Note that both of these mounts are designed to slide the lights in and out. So the way this is going to work is don't try to force the light in the front. Always come in the front and slide it back. It'll hold it secure. It'll so hold it tight. And you will not stress out the mounts in and of themselves. This one as well, um, we've made big changes to this. It used to snap in. This also will slide out now. It's easy to slide out to recharge it and everything else. We also modified the bottom to give you more clearance. We had reports that when people were using the turtle mode, that um, the mounts um, I mean, shocked us as well, uh, we're hitting the, um, the mount. Um, so we just made a little variation here and now it's raised up and it's clear. Um, you'll also note um, that it's on the center of the aircraft. So we increase the center of gravity of the aircraft. You'll see here, it's easy to access the buttons on both sides of this, right? Um, and you also have very simple access to the SD card slot now. So you'll note, I'm gonna slide this light out and you'll note that the SD car slot is here. We kept it inside the frame. We believe this is really important um, for visibility um, to, not visibility, but uh, to protect it. So if it does crash, it'll still turtle. We don't put any lights on top um, and we don't have anything hanging off the side here. Um, we feel when you come down, if your pilots are like my pilots, they're smashing into stuff. And for the most part, this should be protected. It also opened up the front to allow us to put on a gimbal guard. Now I don't have it on here now. It's an optional item. We do put them on all the aircraft we fly with our unit. It serves as a push bumper. Um, this gimbal is not that far in. With the gimbal guard during crashes, it protects the gimbal. And it also allows you to, when you have a small opening, push that door open, just tap, tap, tap it and it'll get you entry into the room to be able to clear it and then exit back out. So that's the other thing by moving it from the front to the center that we did. Centered, centered it, allowed easy access, two-piece screw mount, more secure, opened up the bottom to be able to do everything we needed to do. All of the lights are USB-C chargeable now, um, and they're a one-button push operation comes on and goes into the steady mode. The arc bees are used on the bottom. We found these are the most effective. They give you a good ground light for positioning, and the spotlights um, now allow a longer throw. Um, but with enough beam path to do that, the added benefit is you do have LEDs on the side. So if it's a public safety mission and you're outside and you want to identify as a public safety aircraft, you can turn on your red, blue strobes, red, white strobes for Aspire guys, and there you go. Um, so we wanted to kind of run that through it. Um, take a look here, as I said again, we'll see. 
the basic mount configuration. I'm gonna slide these lights out um, out here for you. Um, here's here's your mount, right? You'll look, you'll see the set screws in there. I'm gonna flip it. You're gonna see that the bottom's there. So it locks in nice and tight um, for you. Um, and um, if, if you do in the course of flying it, manage to break them out by all means, like we generally always do, um, reach out to us and I'll replace it for you. Um, you'll notice as I slide this in, it slides in nice and tight, right? Slide in, slide out. And the same thing goes for the bottom. Um, put the button to the outside, slide it, push it in. So hopefully that helps kind of give you the visual of what this looks like and how it's set up. Um, when you do start setting the screws through, like I said, you will meet some resistance on the front half until you get all the way through, but the set screw on the bottom should be in there. Don't over tighten them, please. If you have a Mongo on your team, don't let Mongo put this on. Doesn't require that. Snug it down good. The vibration will take care of it. If you want to put a little Loctite on it, the releasable kind, so be it. But um, again, these are 3D printed parts, printed um, generally in uh, PETG, which is a really good material. It um, takes a beating pretty good. And if you do manage to crack one, by all means, give us a shout and uh, we'll get it replaced right out for you. So thank you for your time. Um, thank you for listening. If you have any other questions on the install or have issues, by all means, as always, call us and let us know. Um, from my kitchen this evening, because I want to get this out to y'all. Thank you for your attention and thank you for your business.